Hey everybody, my name is Kyle Torres. I'm a freelance UX designer. Um, I get to work right here in the comfort of my own home and I get to work with some amazing clients. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how I did that and I'll give you some tips on how to do the same thing. So I actually haven't been a, a UX designer for a super long time. Um, it's only been about two years um, since, since I got my start. Um, I, I started by going to a UX design boot camp. I went to General Assembly um, for their, their UX design immersive program uh, up in San Francisco. So I, th I thought that was a really good start in design. Got a, got a solid foundation for design thinking and learning more about the UX process. Um, when I graduated, I, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do after that. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go work in house somewhere or, or work as a freelancer. So I, I was applying for both. I was, I was applying for the, the in house jobs. I was applying for freelancing jobs. Um, and actually got, got a response, uh, for a freelancing job. Um, I, I'd sent it through, through upwork.com and found somebody that, that was designing a this website that had this uh, like food ordering system uh, incorporated into it. And so I, so I took that job, didn't really charge a lot of money for it. I think I, I, think I only charged about $15 an hour. Um, but you know, it, it got, me my, got me my start getting real world UX design work in. Um, I, I didn't really, make history for, for how good my design was or anything, uh, but got the ball rolling. So shortly after that project ended, I talked to my friend Michael. Uh, Michael's a, a really good software engineer and he's a really good designer too. Um, so Michael wanted to start a UX design and software development agency and he wanted me to start it with him. So. I thought that that, that was a, a tremendous opportunity. So, so took him up on it and we started working together. We, um, we started a, an agency profile on Upwork and so, so started looking for some jobs. Sent out a bunch of uh, applications to jobs and mostly got ignored, but we actually got, got one response from a really great company. It was um, iFly Indoor Skydiving. They, uh, they have indoor skydiving places all, all around the country. And so, so to work with a, the, a pretty big company like that for our first job was just really incredible. We got to de design a, a new user profile for their website. Um, we got that job done, got a, got a review under our belt and had a new item to add to our, to our portfolio. Um, so that, that really put us on our way to getting more more jobs for the agency and after that we we got some pretty consistent work coming in we um we found more jobs through upwork found jobs through um, our network through through people that we know and we we really built a, a pretty pretty good agency together and we're able to to make a full full-time income on it um and then towards the end of the this the our time doing the agency together we actually found a, a really great client we found um keto connect and we we built a uh a meal planning app for them um so keto connect is a a, a pretty big uh, nutrition brand on the internet um so to be able to build something that that thousands and thousands of people were going to use was, was really cool um so, so towards the end of that project, uh, Michael and I actually decided to uh, go do our own thing. Uh, Michael was building his own product, uh, which is called Story Creator App, by the way. Um, it's a tremendous product. I, I used it to make the intro to this video. Um, and then I, I went and focused on uh, building the, uh, uh, going, going and doing freelancing on my own. So I, I got back on Upwork and look for some jobs on there. And with, with um, the experience that I had from doing that agency and showing that in my portfolio, I was able to get some jobs uh, in a pretty pretty reasonable amount of time. Um, and started to build up more reviews on my own profile and started to get better and better clients through that. Um, 
and then that actually led to um, being able to work with a, a pretty pretty large tech company a couple of months ago called Data Snacks. Um, I got to work with their design team, um, which is a, a really great, legit design team. So <laughs> doing that was just absolutely incredible. Um, but now I'm in the position where I can make a, a full-time income from, from doing freelancing work and, and being able to get consistent jobs coming in, uh, mostly all through Upwork. So um, I'm gonna give you a few tips on how to be, be able to do this yourself. Um, so four tips. Uh, the first one is to find a mentor in the, the design world. Um, ideally someone who's also UX designer. Um, I, I was lucky enough to have three great mentors. Um, I, my, my friend Michael, who I did the agency with, um, learned a tremendous amount about design through from him. Um, he's just a fantastic visual designer. Um, so I, I learned a lot about creating amazing looking UIs through, uh, through him. Um, and then also learned a lot from my friends Kanad and Mukul, who are great UX designers. Um, so having them to be able to talk to throughout the journey really helped uh, help me out. So um, I, I would recommend to, to try as hard as you can to find somebody like this if you are trying to be a freelancer. Um, it's especially important if you're not at a company and you don't have other designers to talk to. Um, so if you don't have a, a friend who is a designer, I'd recommend just trying to go to as many networking events as possible, trying to meet people. Um, there's a lot of very friendly designers out there who, who are willing to give you feedback on your work or get, give you different tips. Um, so check that out. Or if there, there's no other uh, networking events in your city, talk to people on Twitter, talk to people on Instagram. Um, there are a lot of friendly designers out there that are willing to help. Um, the, number two, the tip that I have, um, is to sharpen your UI and visual design skills. I, I think this is just so incredibly important for finding freelancing work. Um, I, I would say that a lot of the clients that are looking for UX design work are really looking for designers that, that can produce very, very pretty looking work also. Um, and that's going to be the first thing that they judge on. Uh, more often than not, um, they, I would say a lot of them do care about the, the UX design skills. Um, but having work that, that looks very pretty is going to be one of the biggest factors in being able to sell your work easily. Um, I would say that when, when my UI design skills improved, um, uh, it just became so, so much easier to, to find clients that wanted to work with me. Um, so to do this, I, I recommend just constantly going through uh, different design courses on, on visual design fundamentals, um, th things like typography, super important, um, using color, using, using spacing in your design. Um, all, all of this will, will just contribute to producing great work that people will want from you. Um, and also looking at how other designers that, that are very good put their work together. Um, so like looking on, on dribble.com and trying to emulate what, what other people are doing will really help you out. Um, the, the third tip that I have is if you're, if you're looking for work on Upwork, start it at, at a really, really low price. Um, it's not going to get you the, the most high profile clients in the world but it, it will get you someone who does need design help that is uh, making a, a real real world project. It will give you experience um, working with actual clients uh, by, by just being competitive on the price. Um, so I, I'd say that that will help you to get the first things in your portfolio and help you to get reviews on Upwork or whatever, whatever freelancing site that you're using. Um, and then the fourth tip that I have is to just consume as much information as possible that could potentially be helpful in, um, in the freelancing journey. 
Uh, so for example, I, I watched a lot of videos by Chris Doe. Um, he has a YouTube channel called The Future, which is amazing. And um, learned a lot about things like pricing for, for designers and different, different things about like etiquette with, with working with clients. All, all of these things were, were just super, super helpful in being a designer that, that can handle working with clients. Um, and I, I'd say helped to set me apart. So I, I would say with those four tips in mind, um, that'll put you on your way to becoming a successful freelancer. Um, so I'm gonna make more videos just like this in the future. Um, thank you for watching.